everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new my name is Georgia and I'm mainly doing fragrances for men and women today I'm gonna talk about Issy Miyake Le de Issy Pure Nectar de Parfum but before I'm gonna talk about this fragrance I'm gonna tell you a couple of things about who Issy Miyake is for the ones who don't know or even for the ones who know Issy Miyake is a famous Japanese fashion designer known for his um, innovation using technology with fabric. So, long story short, he was born in 1938 in Hiroshima and he's actually witnessed and survived the atomic bombing of that city in during World War II. Now, fast forward, he studied um, graphic design at Toma Art University of Tokyo, Japan, of course. During the 1960s and between 1960s and 1970s, he's moving to uh, France, to Paris, and he works for Givenchy and for Guy La Roche. And then he also moves to New York and designs for the house of Geoffrey B. So then he decides, of course, in 1970s to move back to Japan and open his own fashion line in Tokyo, of course. So um, after he tours to Tokyo, he's um, founded his own studio and started creating. He created the famous APOC or a piece of clothing with a basically what what it was is actually basically tubes of fabric that can be cut into um, a variety of shapes and styles by whoever's buying it or by the seller by the customer then another famous creation is um, of course the calling flower and what that is is basically one size uh, fits all shirts for everybody which was actually sold as in a plastic tube, which is also interesting and innovative, if you ask me. Uh, Miyake retired from, officially of course, from the fashion industry in 1997, but he was still supervising his line of fashion or his work. Um, up until 2022, where he passed away at the age of 84. Now, um, in 1992, of course, like every reputable fashion house, they introduced a line of fragrances named Le de Issy, which if you translate it is water of Issy, but if you say it fast, Le de C means Odyssey. And he likes to play with these words. Another example of uh, playing of word, uh, with words and uh, playing with letters is his uh, store in Japan that actually sells his own entire line. And the name of the store is El Tob Tep, which if you uh, if you read it from left to right, it's <laughs> actually from right to left, not left to right. It's Pet Bottle, or if you read it backwards, it's Pet Bottle. Um, but back to this fragrance, Le de Issy Pure Nectar is a floral fragrance that was launched in 2018. The noses behind this fragrance is, uh, behind this fragrance are Dominique Roffion and uh, Fanny Ball. Not like, like you all know by now, Dominique Roffion is my favorite uh, fragrance creator of all times. And that's my opinion and I'm sticking to it. I'm sure you might argue it, but it is what it is. I love this perfumer. I love his creations, put it this way. And this was the main reason I bought this particular fragrance out of Le Dessy line, because there are a lot of flankers. But this is the reason I bought this one, and I'm not sorry for it. It was a blind buy. Uh, I knew Rofion created it, or is part, was part of the creation of this fragrance, and... I couldn't resist. Put it this way. The notes um, in this fragrance are as follows. In the top we have honey, pear and bergamot. In the middle we have rose, water notes and peony. And in the base we have cashmerian or cashmerian, 
ambergris, white musk, sandalwood, and violet. This bottle, the shape, if you notice, it looks like a drop of water. And basically the whole line is called le or water. And it's uh, representing, for my understanding, the last stage of water in nature, which is from sea to dew and from dew to rose. So this is the last stage. So basically, if you go outside after a cool night in, uh, let's just say, a spring morning, because that's what you find, you find a lot of water on the leaves and then drops of water, which finally the, the sun will shine, absorb everything and go back to nature, so on and so forth. But if you look at this bottle really closely, it does look like a drop of water. It really does. And my dog is barking, of course. So, but let's go to what's inside. Okay, stop it. Yeah, right. And I've been wearing this all day. I love it. It's a very sweet fragrance. And it starts with a really noticeable, sweet, juicy pear. Then it transitions over in about, well, when it dries down, about five minutes later, it transitions over to this really nice mixture between rose, peony, and violet. And then the third base, it goes to a really woody, violety, a little bit peony-like with a little bit of no rose in the background. But the rose is really toned down. What shines here is basically the peony, and the violet mix. Of course, a little bit of rose as well here and there too. But it dries down very woody. The sandalwood shines also. The musk, you can, it's a musky, woody, floral dry down. Beautiful mood lifting fragrance or mood of lifting, mood changing fragrance. It is a happy fragrance. I don't know, it has this thing like, um, like, for instance, the weekend, Burberry weekend, has this uh, effect on me. And there's another fragrance by Chopard. Uh, the Chopard fragrance, what is it? Wish, I believe. No, it's not Wish, it's the other one. Happy Spirit by Chopard, which has the same thing, same vibe. So it changes the mood. It makes you feel better, makes you feel happier. It's a fragrance that I would wear in the winter time or mainly in a cool weather because it's sweet. So if you don't like sweet fragrances, I wouldn't recommend this fragrance for you. But if you do like really interesting floral blends, um, woody, floral, sweet, really sexy fragrances, mood uplifting fragrances, then go for this one. You would not regret it. I guarantee that. And if you do like um, Happy Spirit by Chopard, and if you do like um, Burberry Weekend, then I wouldn't see any reason why I wouldn't like this one for the winter time, of course. Of course, um, you can wear it also in the summertime, but also summer night. So it's almost versatile, to me at least. Not in the heat. In the heat, I wouldn't see this fragrance in a really hot weather because it's sweet and sweetness and hotness doesn't do well. Anyways, long story short, it's worth it. It lasts about six to eight hours. The lasting power is not bad, but it's not good either. So it's somewhere in the middle. Um, that's the little bit of downsides, but it's still better than other fragrances as far as the lasting power. It is unique in its own way. It has this really smooth blend between the florals and the pear in it. Um, what can I tell you? What else about this fragrance? Oh yeah, the price, of course. I bought this for about $48 or about $50 from FragranceNet. Now, you might find it for cheaper if you go online versus the store. And per my understanding, I believe this was disconnected, but I'm not sure. Discontinued, I'm sorry, not disconnected. So it might have been discontinued. So if you find it and you like it, stock on it because you're not going to find it anymore. With other words. So good quality, good lasting power. Of course, on the clothing, it lasts until the next day. No problem whatsoever. 
Isi Miyaki, Lud Isi Pure Nectar for Women, or Pure Nectar de Parfum for Women. My name is Georgia. Thank you so very much for watching, and see you in my next video.